Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will do finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So we have here given an arithmetic sequence with the first term of a sub 1 and the common difference of d. And the nth term is given by the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So our target here is to find the indicated or the missing term which is given in each example below. So we have here the first example. Find the 25th term of the arithmetic sequence 5, 8, 11, and 14. So for us to find the 25th term of the given sequence, we will be using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. So before you proceed and before you find the 25th term of the given arithmetic sequence, you need to identify first the value of your a sub 1. Again, this is your first term. Your n is the number of terms na haanapin mo. And then, yung d natin is yung ating common difference. So, since our sequence is 5, 8, 11, and 14, automatic, this will be your a sub 1. So, let's have here, a sub 1 is equal to 5. And then, to identify the value of n, look at the specified or the term na hinanap natin, since this is 25th, you will be putting here n is equal to 25. Now, to find the common difference, ang way natin para mahanap yung ating common difference is that you need to subtract the second, the first term from the second term, which is 8 minus 5. That will give you 3. So, para masabi natin siyang common difference, kailangan, ang gawin mo muna is kunin mo muna yung common differences ng iba't ibang klaseng terms, yung different pair of terms. Kasi hindi siya magiging common kung iisa lang naman. And then secondly, you need to subtract the second term from the third term. That will be 11 minus 8 is equal to 3. And then the third term subtracted from the fourth term, you will be using 14 minus 11. That will be equal to 3. Look at their differences. Lahat sila 3. Therefore, Yung common differences natin is equal to 3. After completing those variables or the value of those variables, kailangan mo nang ipadito ito sa given formula natin. Since your n is equal to 25, ito magiging a sub 25. And then, your a sub 1 is 5 plus your n, which is 25, minus 1 times your common difference, 3. Okay? Then, simplify mo lang yung ating given formula. a sub 25 is equal to 5 plus, this is 24, times 3. Then, multiply mo tong part na to, 24 times 3. That will give you 5 plus, that is, I think, uh, that is 72. Okay? 72. And then, simplifying that one. Your 25th term is equal to 77. This is the 25th term, 25th term of the given sequence 5, 8, 11, and 14. Actually, since you already have the common difference, kaya mo naman siyang ano, hanapin using the manual method. But since this is 25th, medyo time-consuming siya for us to um, manually add 3 each term para ma-reach ma mo yung 25th term. So, much better na gumamit ka ng formula. What if you will be asked to find the 100th term? ba? So, much better kung meron kang formula. Okay? So, let's move on to item number 2. Okay. This one is quite different from the first because in our example number 2, sabi dito, find the 10th and the 30th terms of the sequence 7, 12, 17. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, since pinapahanap sa atin yung 10th 
and 30th term, dalawang solution ang gagawin natin. So, una, let's find the A sub 10 or the 10th term. So, the formula is A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Your A sub 1, paresa naman yan. So, you have here A sub 1 is equal to 7. Your n is 10. Kasi pang 10th term yung hinahanap mo, 10. And then, yung common difference natin, hanapin muna natin, ha? You have here 12 minus 7 will give you 5. And then, 17 minus 12, that will give you 5. So, ang common difference natin is 5. Okay? So, to find the 10th term, substitute natin yung formula natin. We have a sub 1, sorry, a sub 10 is equal to your a sub 1, which is 7, plus the quantity of 10 minus 1 times 5. Then you will be having a sub 10 is equal to 7 plus 9 times 5. This is 7 plus 45. So your 10th term for the given sequence is 52. This is the 10th the term of the sequence 7, 12, and 17. So what about the 30th term. So, pinapahanap naman ngayon si A sub 30. So, yung, yung A sub 1 ay hindi naman gumago. It doesn't change because yung, yung first term ay 7 pa rin. Ang gumago lang dito ay yung N, which is 30. Kasi 38. Tapos, yung common difference, still the same, 5. So, use the formula. A sub 30 is equal to 7 plus 30 minus 1 times the again times 5 again your a sub 1 is 7 your n is equal to 30 minus 1 times 5 your common difference simplify lang natin a sub 30 is equal to 7 plus 29 times 5. This is 7 plus 145. Okay, 29 times 5 is 145. Okay. And then your 30th term for the given sequence is none other than 152. Okay, that's it. That is, that is the 10th term and the 30th term of the sequence. 7, 12, 17. Okay? If you have any question about this, you can comment down below. If meron kayong gustong topic na ipadiscuss within our YouTube channel, you can do you can comment down below po. Again, if bago ka na sa channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat.